Hello, everyone. I'm Wang Ba Yu. I'm from Sun Yat-sen University, China. Today, I would like to talk about my paper. My program, end-to-end -end latency issue localization with extended spectral analysis in microservice environment. Nowadays, the microservice architecture has been applied widely in the modern IT industry. With this kind of car architecture, an application is decoupled into many loosely distributed fine-grained services. By adopting to microservice architecture, modern enterprise reap many benefits from better scalability of components, higher developer productivity, and smaller program language registry. While microservice architecture bring many advantages, the nature of a microservice architecture also presents many challenges. In identifying root cause when a performance issue occurs, as shown at the pictures, microservice application usually have many instances and complex service independently. The complex structure of a microservice makes it difficult to check the process of full propagation at service instant level. Secondly, because upstream microservice performance is always dependent on downstream microservice. Therefore, a downstream microservice anomaly may result in multiple anomalies in other upstream microservice. It means that we need to find root causes in a huge potential cost step. In addition, microservice system usually has a rapid update. In published DiOps reports, it shows that microservice may be deployed more than 1,600 times in a year. Therefore, the ludicrous localization methods we adapt to the dynamic runtime environment with a low cost. Face these challenges, most previous methods only use metrics to find root cause. However, metrics do not contain the fine grain context among different services. For example, the application operator to see a latency spy when there was a latency issue in microservice system, but they do have enough fine grain context to explain why this problem happened. Trace capture the detailed execution of cost reality operation performed by different service instances. Therefore, Trace is useful in localizing microservice root codes. However, previous methods only use anomalous trace to find root causes. Spectrum based fault localization techniques is one of the most popular approach in program debugging. Previous study about spectrum best methods shows that the past test provides some clues to performance debugging. The core idea of spectrum best method is the methods covered more by file test and less by the past test are more suspicious. Consider the, similar, the similarity between software tests, software tests, and microservice tests. We were inspired to use 
the special microservice. The microservice system that covers more by anomalous trees and less by normal trees are more like glucose. Compared with the previous rules, we use clues provided provided by anomalous and normal trees. However, there are two problems with using spectrum analysis directly to the microservice domain. Firstly, spectrum analysis only consider the coverage information. The different trees are treated equally. Actually, the less service instance address goes through, the smaller the search space, and the more way it should has. Therefore, we should raise some important trees that has covered less service instance. Secondary, unlike the well designed test cases, there may be an uneven number of trace kinds in a microservice system. Uneven number of trace kinds may affect the accuracy of spectrum. Therefore, we need to reduce the way of trace kind with more accuracy. Then we propose micro rank to identify the root causes of latency issues. Micro RAM with the clues provided by normal and anomalous trees. It leaves edge head rank to strengthen the spectrum analysis and use the extended spectrum to determine glucose. In the anomaly detector, Firstly, we calculate average handling time and standard deviation of each microservice operation offline. Then, we calculate the expected latency of each tree. We judge whether the expected latency is larger than the real latency. After that, we can get list of normal and anomalous trees. The data preparator generates the number of occurrence of each kind of trees, the core graph of the microservice system, an operation trees graph based on list of normal and anomalous trees. A microservice system may have some operations to provide different functions. Therefore, we use the operation trees graph. The pattern scorer weight different trees and balance uneven trees kind of by pattern rank. The trans transition matrix of pattern rank is constructed based on trees info. In the transition matrix, the AOT and ATO comes from the operation trace graph. To differentiate the operations covered by the stand trace, we add AOO based on the code graph. After, after the page rank iteration, page rank scholar will output normal and anomalous score for each microservice instant operation. Then we can do spectral analysis based on the normal an anomalous score of each operation. Weighted spectral ranker gives us the suspicious scholars of each microservice instance. For example, the button table shows the product get the highest score, which means that it's the most suspicious instance. Actually, it's the glucose. In the experiment, we test micro rank on three data set. Data set A and B are based on a widely used microservice benchmark, hipster shop. 
which is open sourced by Google, to meet mid latency issues. We inject four types of folds to keep the help. The router map shows the distribution of CPU, network, IO array, and IO array folds. The data says C is based on a production system from China Mobile Zhejiang. Data says D has seven folds in real systems. At data set A, we inject one fold each time. We inject 50 folds in total. The results show that MicroRAN get 94% accuracy in finding Lucas directory. The application operators only needs 0 0.42 step to an average to localize glucoses. Micro rank gets 64% improvement over page rank and 30% improve over spectrum, the in, in, initial spectrum. At data set B, we enjoy two folds each time. We enjoy 100 folds in total. The results show that micro rank gets 66% accuracy in finding to Lucas directory. The operators only need to 0 0.94 step on average to find the two Lucas. Micro rank gets 62% improvement over at rank random work and 48% improvement of, over the initial spectrum. At data test C, there are seven folds in total. The experimental results show that micro RAN can find root causes each time in a real microservice system. To validate the effectiveness of micro RAN, we compare it with several state of art root cause analysis methods, including cause info, roots, microscope, and etc. In data set A, MicroRAN achieves 6% to 80%, 18% improvement. At data set B, MicroRAN achieves 6% to 22% improvement. Finally, I would like to make a conclusion of MicroRAN. MicroRAN with the clues provide by normal and anomalous trees to conduct microservice glucose localization. MicroRAN leave edge page rank to strengthen spectrum analysis to find glucose of latency issues. It achieved over 90% accuracy in two in one cause situation and over 60% accuracy in two cause situation. In addition, we enhance the ability of end-to-end -end tracing to the widely used microservice benchmark hipster shop, which has been open source on GitHub. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Any questions?